Carolyn Doobie here with this month's colorful jelly print party. And this month I'm giving some high fives. And to do that, I'm going to be using a jelly plate, some deli paper that I've taped down with some repositionable tape, and of course acrylic paint in my brayer, and that's some scrap paper I can clean that brayer off on. And I'm going to be using the jelly plate a little differently than I usually do. This is really just a great place for me to get a lot of smooth, flat color and not have to waste anything. So. I'm going to take my hand, I am going to plop it right on that jelly plate, load it up with paint, and transfer that paint right over to my deli paper. What I'm doing here is giving a bunch of high fives. Well, why so many high fives? The reason is, in talking with some friends, I realized that they don't celebrate some of the little things that they do that are a big deal because all those little things add up to the really big things. And then I realized, mm, I probably don't do it either. So. I'm going to use the jelly plate to help me do it. Well, as I'm doing this, I am pulling that excess paint off the jelly plate and the paint off my hand is going on the back. It's just making a wonderful painty mess and not a drop of my paint is getting wasted because that's an awesome background that I can use for something else or print some more on. Well, I'm going to do the same thing here with the orange and I am just transferring that color over and I'm not going to waste any of that paint or pattern that's on there because I'm going to grab a scrap piece and I'm going to pick that pattern up there, add the next color, and now as I transfer this one over, something's going to happen. Keep your eye on the screen and what happens to deli paper. It's wet deli paper, and yep, it sticks and it rips. And guess what? I'm going to keep right on going even with that happening. It's just an oops, that's all it is, and I'm going to keep right on playing. That rip won't cause me any trouble, but I do need to be aware that it's kind of not to pull right there again or it'll rip some more. I am just using my painty hand to clean up the last bits there on the jelly plate because I don't want to waste any paint. And sometimes I get some really, really super interesting pulls that I couldn't have planned. And now it's time to add in yet another color. Now as I'm adding this, you'll notice that I'm being kind of tender around where it's ripped and torn. But other than that, it's not going to be a big deal. And something I haven't shown you on camera here is washing my hands. When I switched between color families, between the warm and the cold, I did go and wash my hands just so I didn't get mud. Cause... And now I'm at the point for deciding for my very last color. And I didn't have exactly what I wanted in a color, so I'm just going to mix it myself. I took my green and added some yellow so I could create more of that bright lime green that I love so much. And over on my blog, I go in a little more in-depth to the high fives and what those mean and the significance of that for me over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com, so I'd love it if you'd come over and check that out. Got this last bit of color on here, and I think I'm going to stop, but you may wonder, why did I choose deli paper and not plain old regular paper? For the simple reason, because I felt like it. No great decision with this. You really could use any type of paper with the same technique of making a bunch of high fives and hand prints. Well, now it's your turn to play with the jelly plate, and I'd love to see what you're making. Hope you'll share it with us over in the Google community called A Colorful Playground. I'll have the link down below in the video description on YouTube so you can get right over there and check it out. And if you're new to Google+, don't let that stop you because we're all learning it as we go. Well, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see more of my videos, I'd love it if you subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you've got friends that you think would enjoy this video, I'd love it if you shared it with them. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey.